Out and about now, a local smoothie shop that first started when the founder set up a bike blender outside his North Port Northwest Portland home seven years ago, opened up their latest brick and mortar location over the weekend. The name of the business is Moberry, and they specialize not only in smoothies, but also acai bowls. I said what? I said acai. acai. You want to see? Take a look. <laughs> We are pedaling with a purpose today at the brand new Moberry Cafe on North Mississippi in North Portland. Instead of me trying to talk over my pedaling, <laughs> maybe I'll stop for a moment to introduce you to Ryan Carpenter. He is the founder of Moberry. You now have four locations, including this brand new cafe again in North Portland. But the two things you really specialize in at all of your locations, smoothies, which I get, and those bowls that I know my wife enjoys eating, but a lot of people don't know how to say them. How do you say it? Acai bowls. A-C-A-I is pronounced acai bowls. Yep, but we'll, we'll make it for you regardless of what you tell us, but yeah. Well, let's talk about <laughs> what they are exactly. If people don't know what an acai bowl is, explain. Uh, so acai comes from the Amazon. That's the only place you can grow it. They're very popular on the beaches of Brazil. And uh, despite the weather differential, we think they're gonna go over a great year in Portland. And so far we've been right. And this again now is your largest location on North Mississippi. Uh, let's talk about though, two of your most popular items. Bring me a fantastically popular smoothie and one of your best selling bowls. Okay, will do. Uncle Jesse coming right up. That's the Uncle Jesse. <laughs> That's the Uncle Jesse. I, I honestly thought either a Dukes of Hazard character or John Stamos was going to show up here. Uh, why do you call this the Uncle Jesse? Uh, we've got a lot of 80s and 90s themed uh, restaurant or, uh, or names for our smoothies and bowls. And uh, yeah, Uncle Jesse. I'm jumping in. Tell me about what's in the Uncle Jesse. So that is our most popular acai bowl. We use a really nice peanut butter right on top. You can blend it in as you choose. Uh, fresh strawberries, blueberries, banana. Um, it's uh, kind of a northwesty version of what uh, you can get in Hawaii. I'll tell you what, Ryan, all that blended together is awesome. Tell me about that smoothie you had in your hand. Sure, this is the Blue Lagoon. It's got pineapple, spirulina, ginger, and coconut water. I'll close this way. If you want Mo Blue Lagoon, or you want Mo Uncle Jesse, you gotta get to Mo Berry, including their brand new location right here on North Mississippi. And now oh. you're taking a live look at a smoothie. <laughs> in the yes. studio. We have the owner of Moberry mm. in the house with us this morning again. Uh, we have Ryan here to talk about mm. the different smoothies you brought to the table for us this morning. Let's start with the mm. uh, the ends because Ashley that's and Rod so are drinking the same thing. Oh, yummy. You like that? Yeah, that's fresh. <laughs> and that's, so that's got acai bright. in it. Okay. Um, just what we put in the bowls, we put in that smoothie. Uh, it's called the Fresh Prince of Brazil. Uh, oh. Because, uh, yep, I think yes, from I Brazil. Am. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, yep, that one's a good one. You can get the reference. Uh, I love this. You like that? <laughs> yes. So, as I was saying before, this is on the earthy side. It's called the Captain Planet. Mm -hmm. uh, it's got hemp seeds, greens, a uh, little banana and mango to sweeten it up. Mm -hmm. But, uh, yeah, that's a meal right really there. Really good for you, yeah. all of these ones. This does not taste, mm. uh, this does not taste earthy at all. That's a good thing. Chocolate and peanut butter? But it's good for you. It's got chocolate peanut butter, but it's also got uh, a lot of protein in it. Mm -hmm. uh, that's a great protein <laughs> shake right there. Mm. Look at this. <laughs> I take it you mm. like it. It's a quarter of the way gone. I would love to work in two quick questions if you have quick answers. Sure, yeah. Mm. Acai. Some people are still watching going, what the heck is he saying? Acai. Yeah. I mean, this what must is be that? like a super berry, right? Because is, everyone's yeah. talking about it now. Yep, it's great. But people are talking about it because it tastes good, too. Okay, good. It, it does taste good. It really mm -hmm. does. And, and it, it makes me feel super. <laughs> you don't grow them in the Willamette Valley, either. No, <laughs> you have to grow it in the Amazon. That's okay. the only place mm. you can get these berries. Mm. Um, and we grind it up into a nice ice cream-like texture. Mm -hmm. But is it, like, antioxidant-filled? Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. like, It's good for vitamins. you. High in antioxidants, high in vitamins. Um, it's going to give me yeah. energy, too. Yeah. It's going to give you energy, too. Mm. Oh, sure. boy. Too yeah. much energy for Rod might be a bad thing. It's a great story you have. We've been sharing it all morning long. 2011, just seven years ago, you're out front of your Northwest. Portland home on a bike blender, mm -hmm. whipping up some smoothies, hoping that people will just give them a shot. And now you've got four locations That's awesome. yeah. where people can wow. check out your bowls and your smoothies. What exactly. were the neighbors saying? And the they time. can pedal their own smoothie. Yeah. Yeah, that's <laughs> awesome. Congratulations. I hope this yeah. guy stops. That's what <laughs> Thank you, Ryan, very much. Yeah, thank yes. you. Rodney. Cheers.